really hungry. I had breakfast not long ago. Like well, treasures. Please like, subscribe, really leave comments. Hungry. It helps us a lot, and thank you. Lord of the Flies! <laughs> yeah, I like these pink ones. With what I'm wearing, yeah. Cats. I don't think I'm going to go to Orange Julep. Biodome, I'm going to wait till I get my um, inhalers because I was even just taking a shower. I was like more winded and I, it comes and goes. So I want to enjoy it. I don't want to have to worry about how I'm feeling. My, I might rent a scooter too. If my breathing, I don't know. I got to get my breathing back to a therapeutic level. Just get an Orange Julep drink. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> the big head. Baby Lee. I know. Excited to see the cats. Absolutely. You guys miss the cats too? Oh, I miss them. You guys want to... <laughs> They're going to be so happy to see me, Sam. I got to book them their grooming too for this week. That's, I got to do that. I got to do a lot of shit. And I should have been doing it the minute I fucking... The week started. But you know what? Like... Like I said, I'm my own worst enemy. Go to Sam. <laughs> if you ever visit Australia, I'd love to take you on a girl's day with shopping cocktails. Get our nails done. So nice to see you. Happy. Thank you. I have so many Aussie fans. I need to go visit them. <laughs> I love Australia. But are there going to be things that, uh, are there going to be things that, uh, kill me there? Ooh, ooh, the sound of lovers. Thick thighs save lives. Or, or end them. <clears throat> I look great at. Oh, I miss Beezer Juice freebies. Oh, freebies, Beezer Juice! Layla, welcome to Puppies. Where's your freebies, Layla? Can you please recant the story of when Pete's had to blow dry your stinky fupa? My fupa gash! It wasn't actually the fupa. What he had to blow dry was in between my bikini line, which is in between the fupa and the bottom roll or the apron. And you have to blow dry it so it doesn't get moisture because it does, if, and especially with the healing process. So with the healing process and everything, it just smelled bad. So the doctor wanted me to uh, to avoid infection. He wanted Pete to blow dry it for me. So I would hold up my roll and he would blow dry my freaking incision. <laughs> he would blow it up at me to torture me. That's true love. When somebody blow dries your roll, I remember when we broke up, he said that. He's like, but I blow dried dry your roll for you. That's why, to this day, I don't mind paying his way. All right? Come on. Oversight is in. Yeah. Who cares if you're fat? Enjoy it. I mean, enjoy your body no matter what. Continue to work on yourself, but be happy. And be stylish. I agree. And I am stylish now. I love myself today. Not like yesterday. I'm cool. I'm calm. I'm gonna be okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. BB was really nice, too. He had to shower me a few times after my, my surgery. And, uh... I broke up with him not long after because for his sake like he we had discussions like he wants to have children and everything so start now you're not getting younger you know go find a girl be happy he doesn't des i don't deserve him he's i know that's mean to say about myself but i've done him wrong and i don't deserve i don't deserve him and that's how i know i'm a caring person because to this day it bugs me and i say i never cheat on anyone look I know the Kevin thing. I've known, met Kevin a few times. He's not my boy. He's not my... Like, we're working towards something, but... I don't feel terrible about Tony because, I mean, fuck. I don't owe anybody anything at this point in this stage. I'm a fashion icon. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Sure you are. I still live with him? Sure you are. Mm -hmm. We live well together. Oh, I still live with who? Oh, Pete? Eltiana John. Self awareness is fleeting. I do put myself down. I deserve happiness. Thank you. 
but I have to be happy first. I have to be a happy person to make anyone else happy. There's no way I can take on that emotional undertaking of making someone else, not making someone happy, but enjoying life with somebody and you know what I mean? And, and first thing to do that is just cut out all toxicity as much as I can. You know, I listen to that like Charlie's Angel video and it's like, I like listening to videos like that because it makes me think a way I never thought before, you know? It's like I refuse to believe that narcissists exist. I cannot fathom or comprehend that God would make a human being incapable of loving another person. That's not, that's cruel. Like, oh my God. Little daycare walking kids, they're holding the rope. Live your life unapologetically. I got bigger biceps than you now. I'm gonna knock you out. <laughs> They're holding the rope. You ever see that? Little kids, aww. I should be like, can I hold one of the babies? <laughs> the creepy lady. <laughs> That's so cute, oh my god. Look, they're holding the rope. Isn't that cute? All right, I'm gonna go. <clears throat> Sure you are. Narcissists get help, Tweety. You need to be self-aware or you can't change. And the, one of the symptoms of narcissism is being self-aware, is not being self-aware. So how can they ever change? It doesn't make any sense. The rope <laughs> prevents beezing. I need a rope when I go out. <laughs> no take us. Where? I'm listening to music on the way home. The cats need to be, my cats need to be groomed, absolutely, and everything. Have to accept the things need to change first. Yeah. See you for the rage stream tonight. <laughs> I'm gonna be in a different, you know what? Is this what sundowning is? People used to say your mental health changes at sundown. I need to go home and take some medication. Maybe I'll just drive straight to Brigeonette. What did you message Matt or he said he's exposing me? I told you guys everything I messaged. I have all the messages. But I'm not gonna show the messages. If he does, whatever. I mean, you guys know I was fucking desperate last night. Desperate to see it. <laughs> One thing I will admit, start a new live listening to music. That's a good idea. Wonder drug, yes. Be my Be my bloodstained suit of armor. Be my everything. Don't say you love me because I don't care. <laughs> he does seem a bit solemn. He is super stressed out. He gets super stressed and it makes him sick. But you have to realize, like, there's ways to deal with shit and without being angry, you know? I need to realize that too. I have my own anger problems. I do. I need anger management. Because the adrenaline, it's hard to control when you're angry, you know? He just... And I... And I and because I'm like that, like, I kind of sympathize with that, like, you know? And yes, I am very reactive with him. Like, I, I'm mean to him too sometimes. Like, I can be cruel too, like... If I don't get my way with him, like, right away or something, you know? Like, well, fine, fuck you, kind of thing. You know, I, I don't know. I'm spoiled, too. I'm not, like, I'm not saying anything. That's just, like, how I am as a person, you know? So everyone has their own things they need to work on, you know? He sent a sex pic. I didn't send a sex pic. No. I don't have any sex pics of Dylan. The try on all! His life is a result of his actions and choices. Exactly. Everyone's life is, and everyone has to deal with their shit you know and like when i talked to him he sounded like he was like trying to like i'm taking care of my shit you know like i have a life i'm always doing things all day i need to take my med so maybe he's on medication i don't know i don't want to talk about his life 
but I hope that people, I like to see people who work on themselves, you know? Hopeful that people work on themselves, and me too. I check everyone out. Mama Fruit Fly! Hi! She is a piece of work, <laughs> that's for sure. Okay! Whenever you feel a rage, just close your eyes and meditate. Yeah. Help mentioning him. Yeah, it does hurt. You don't use and abuse people, there's a difference. You wouldn't dare abuse matter. You seize up whenever you're around him because you risk being hurt. He doesn't think he's intimidating. He is. <clears throat> Work on yourself. Queen of the Beezers. I can get upset, but not all impulsive or really angry driven. I know. I admire that in people. I am so hot-headed. Oh my god, it's so bad. Alright, guys. So, I'm gonna, like, drive around. I mean, drive around. I'm gonna drive home. And I should be home in a couple hours. Maybe 2.30, 2, 2, 30. Thanks, Ricky. <laughs> Faith! Hi, Faith! Wait till you guys see the clothing. I'm gonna do a try and haul and get my strapless on. Sure you are. Later. Sure, girly, sure. There's some things good about Aries, and there's a lot of things. <laughs> but we're supposed to be energetic, creative, ambition driven leaders. La Bonquise. Am I hungry right now? I don't want a fucking Italian potato. I'm gonna wait till I get home and make spaghetti or something. Can't wait for the try on haul. Yes. All right. So, I will see you guys when I get home, okay? Bye. Try not to be male Mary. Love Aries you, treasures, so and I will see you on the next one. I remember, Aries, you're like, all Aries. beautiful. I guess it depends on your moon and everything, too. But... All right. <laughs> Italian potato. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> I'm not going to see. Ow, oh, 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 my rectum. Okay, I gotta go.